had a wooden spoon and a sandwich with red caviar. While tens of thousands of Russian men are being sent to die in a war against Ukraine, their compatriots are posing for the camera in Slavic Czech style. Businesswoman Gulina Nauman decided to keep up with the internet trends and took a photo with a huge caviar sandwich right on Red Square. For this, the woman and her cameraman friend were taken to the police station. According to Gulina, the law enforcers were confused by the size of the sandwich and the amount of caviar in the container, which was 14 kilograms. The women were held at the police station for three hours and then released. It is prohibited to shoot so much caviar near the Kremlin. The situation in the country forbids to be posh. It is possible to film yourself with small pieces of a sandwich with caviar. Gulina Nauman on Telegram. After this caviar lovers, others also came to Red Square. Three more Moscow residents were detained during the photo shoot. However, it turned out that their luxury was fake. But law enforcers are convinced all of this is a planned protest action, though it is still unclear planned by whom and why. We don't have real caviar. We have imitation of caviar that costs 60 rubles. You're having a protest action, so you will have to come with me. They detained us just for a sandwich, for a photo with a sandwich. Participants of various actions are regularly detained on Red Square. Eco-activists, piquets with anti-war posters, those who oppose repression and torture or in support of political prisoners. There is no system of regulating what the authorities are doing, and the courts are embedded in the vertical and only help the authorities to carry out the repression that is beginning. We can talk about the collapse of everything related to law in Russia. That is why things are absolutely bad with human rights. They are not respected at all. It is also dangerous to walk and drive near monuments in Russia. A native of Kyrgyzstan faces up to three years in prison for driving in front of a monument to World War II victims in Nizhnevartovsk. He is now accused of rehabilitating Nazism. The case was opened on the instruction of the head of the investigative committee, Bastrykin. According to the version of the investigation, the man showed obvious disrespect with the purpose of discrediting the symbols of military glory of Russia, insulting the memory of the defenders of the motherland. He was detained on November 28th, and now they are going to deport him from Russia, from a message in the Telegram channel Chetade. You can get arrested in a federation even without car, poster or caviar. Moscow resident with a disability was arrested for 10 days for writing no to war on a snow-covered turnstile in Gorky Park with his finger. Dmitry Fyodorov was detained by police at the exit from the park. They drew up reports on him about the so-called discrediting of the army and disobedience to the police. According to the calculations of Media Zona, since March 2022, when the law on discrediting the Russian army was adopted, the courts have received about 8,000 administrative cases under this article. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UHV News.